welcome to department of electronics saurashtra university i am from sir h n pandya of the department of electronics saurashtra university rajkot gujarat india this one we will proceed for a series of video lectures on the topic of spherical coordinates through model so here the different topics which i would like to cover in this series of video lectures they are something like this first i will uh, try to explain you the model which we have prepared in our department in the university thereafter with this model i will explain representation of a point in spherical coordinates with a model and also i will discuss the diagrams which are usually presented in the textbooks third one spherical coordinates are theta phi in terms of orthogonal coordinates x y z and vice versa thereafter we will discuss about the differential length differential area and differential volume all this we will discuss in terms of the model as well as the text and the derivation of the mathematical equations so now learners uh, i have with uh, the model which we have prepared uh, you can see that the model is made with the uh, pvc strips which are the pvc strips and some of the metal rods which will be used to indicate the position vector of a point in the spherical coordinates and its projection and some of the geometry of the model will help us to understand the complexity of the mathematics so uh, let's see uh, the model are detailed first of all i will show you a particular point in the spherical coordinate uh, can you see this point here uh, white color bowl like thing small point that will be the point we will consider here in the spherical coordinate but let me make it clear that spherical coordinates are basically derived from the orthogonal coordinates so for that reason i will first show you that which are the different axes which will be using so in my model i have used this red color bar as the positive x axis and it is indicated with the label here as positive x and exactly perpendicular to this road that is the blue colored bar this is a blue colored bar which is i have labeled as a plus y so this is my x axis perpendicular to that is my y axis and perpendicular to both of this the plane which contains x axis and y axis both of them i have a green colored metal bar which is perpendicular to x and y so this is x this is y and this is z axis which makes at the origin origin which i have shown here as the yellow color bowl please also not that the origin yellow color bowl of orthogonal coordinate system x y z as well as the spherical coordinate is common in my model so again let me come back to the point the point here as you can see is a white color small bowl i have uh, indicated here the point now to understand in the spherical coordinate we have three different parameters in spherical coordinate let's say i have here a point p whose three parameters are indicated as r theta and phi so our point we now say is in the spherical coordinate is p r theta phi now let's try to understand the representation of a point in a spherical coordinates and along with the x y z okay let us now uh, let's uh, discuss in detail how we represent a point in spherical coordinates i will discuss that uh, with this model so let me again uh, show you the point p here we have a point p i think uh, that will be visible to you this point p right so point p has a three coordinates parameters that are r theta and phi let us first understand how we discuss about r in this one 
in my model with a violet color bar i have indicated the first parameter that is r r is nothing but the distance from the origin to the point so this is my point this is my origin and the line joining with this violet bar which i have indicated here as a letter r so r is our positional vector here so that is the first parameter of the point r the next parameter that is theta let's see what is theta in spherical coordinate theta is the angle between the positive z axis which i indicate here with the green color metal bar with that one what angle the position vector makes that angle we take as a theta we should keep in mind that theta we should always consider as the angle in which the distance from the z axis increases in other words we say it is a clockwise direction clockwise direction if we feel that the position vector is going away in the clockwise direction and that will make the theta increase so that is about uh, the next parameter theta let us now see what is the phi phi is the third parameter which we use to represent a point in spherical coordinates so let's understand theta it is an angle so angle between what it is the angle between the positive this is positive x axis red color bar here it is and it is the angle with the positive axis and let's see the projection of the position vector on x y plane i think let me first explain now that what is the projection of the vector r so if we project a point p let's say this point p the projection of point p on x y plane this is my x y plane you can see this is my x y plane when i have x axis then i have here y axis the projection of the point on x y plane is shown with this one this point now the distance of this point from the origin which again i have indicated with a violet color small metal bar to differentiate that it is not the position vector i have given the name instead of r here i have given the name rho so rho is now the projection of position vector r on xy plane now that rho what angle it makes with the positive x axis is our angle phi say this our phi so angle between x axis and the projection of the position vector on xy plane is phi phi is always taken in the anti clockwise direction it is called azimuthal angle theta is called the elevation angle so at this point i think uh, it should be clear to you that what a different uh, three parameters in spherical coordinate that is r theta and phi we use to represent a point so this all about this model okay viewers we have understood that how we represent a point r on point p sorry point p on the surface of the sphere with the model now the same thing we will understand with the diagrams which are generally present in the textbooks let's see we i have a diagram in which i have x axis i have y and z then i have a blue colored line outline here which starts from x it goes to z here and again it comes to so whatever area or the boundary is covered by this blue colored line is the small portion of the sphere it is a 1/8 8th part of the sphere which we are seeing here it is a curved surface basically on that surface now we assume that we have a point here p whose coordinates are r theta phi again as i explained r is the distance of the point p from the origin so with this red color line 
I am showing that R. R. This is nothing but the position vector here. The next parameter is theta. So here theta is the angle between the positive z axis and the position vector R. So this is a theta. Theta is always increasing in the clockwise direction. Then we understand phi. So in this diagram, the projection of point P is shown here as a Q. It is shown as a Q here. So P is projected on XY plane as a point Q. So distance of Q from the origin, that is OQ, the small line segment OQ is the projection of the position vector R. So angle between the positive X axis this is my positive x axis, this one, and the angle between the projection of the position vector on xy plane is phi. Phi is called the angle of azimuth, azimuth angle, and it is always taken in increasing direction of anticlockwise direction.